Hello, my darlings, and welcome to another snowy San Myshuno part. Once again, we're back at Market Avenue with a little update on Finley and Milo. Finley was on his way home from a gig when he overheard Milo saying he'd be alone at Christmas. Now, this didn't bother Milo, but that did not stop Finley asking if he would like to spend Christmas with him and his friends. The two got to talking, which went on into the early hours, until they both got too cold. And on the stoop, Finley thanked Milo and gave Milo the biggest hug before saying goodnight. This night had to be one of the best nights of Milo's life, and he went to bed very happy indeed. Happy Thursday, my loves, and welcome back to Let's Build the World. Welcome back to Market Avenue, darlings. It is snowing. You guys had some wonderful ideas last time. I didn't get a chance to go through and read. I'm pausing. I didn't get a chance to go through and read all of the comments just yet, but I've just seen a couple of the ones at the top that were just absolutely impeccable. So I thought I'd read them out to you now. And the first one I absolutely pissed my pants at, and it is from Audrey. Now, Audrey, you have won the drag queen name because I loved this. Hear me out. K Boona for Finley's drag name. Kabuna in Simlish means who cares? And I absolutely love that. So Finley's drag name from now on is K Boona. I just thought that was absolutely brilliant. So Audrey, thank you so much. And I love this as well from Jasmine Holt. I think Milo should secretly be working on a comic based on Finley's life and draws Finley from memory. And I love the PS. I dare you to use decor to the max for Finley's apartment. That was what I was planning. We are going to do a maximalist right over the top apartment for Finley's. Um, but I just love the fact I love that idea. But maybe not for like publication. He's not going to release this comic. Maybe that's how he is going to, I don't know, proclaim his love for Finley or something. Just show him amazing comic of it, the drag queen superhero, which is a missing genre, I must say. Drag queens are superheroes nonstop. Full stop, sorry. But I just thought that would have been really lovely. So, Jasmine, thank you so much for doing that. I absolutely appreciate you for that. I really do. So, what are we doing today? Well, we need to get out the snow so we can see what we're actually doing. But I think what we're going to do is make us all um, do the roof terrace at the top here. We're definitely going to decor that roof terrace out lovely. It's definitely going to be a bit of a party terrace, I reckon, this one. And I think we'll probably do the back garden as well we'll do the back garden here and just put some more exterior details on there have been a few changes i really loved one of your guys ideas as well you did say why don't you put a ladder up this to this part here rather than having the stairs come down and i actually like that we can pretend the ladder can be pulled up and down like they i think they do in new york i don't know i'm not well versed in new york architecture but i like that idea i do i've still yet to put a door here as well so we'll do that once we get into the build mode so without further ado let's flop on over and actually get ourselves into the build mode and make a start all right then my sweets here we go so we're gonna make a start on the roof terrace up here so as i said it's definitely a bit of a party pad now i'm feeling i definitely need to get rid of custom content I'm feeling there needs to be some kind of maybe like festoon lighting, darlings. And I think the only place we can find that is, is it the kids' room? Was it the toddler's room? It's a really, it's in a really weird pack. I don't understand why it's in there, but it's, is it the kids' room? I think it might be the toddler's. Just lighting? Yes, it's the toddler, this one. I think that having this up here will definitely bring a bit of that je ne sais quoi bête. That I am looking for for this particular roof garden. Yes, I am a dude. So I'm going to use four of them, I think. What does this look like? Yes, yes, that is perfect. That's the vibe that I wanted. And that's the vibe that we're getting. So I'm going to flop this all the way around. Oh, it fits a dream as well. Where did it go? Did I get rid of it? Where did you go? Where did you go? My lovely. Does anybody remember that song? Because I certainly do. And it was tragic. Um, I'm going to move it in one more, though, like this. Same with you, my darling. And then I'm going to whiffle you around to this way. Stunning, 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 stunning. It's not going to disrupt the entrance. No, it's not. Not at all. Oh, yes. And then we'll flop you. Oh, oh, we don't. Oh, oh we're, we're going to have to do two poles here. Does that glitch out? No, it's fine. Let me see this. Yes, I'm feeling that. 
I reckon he's the hostess with the mostest as well. I reckon they might even do some drag queen nights up here. I'd be absolutely for that. Maybe they get in Francis to play like the guitar for them or something. They're quite close to the next door as well. I have made that apparent. Uh, I will make sure this whole area, the friendships uh, in the whole of the Spice District, is very heavily community filled. So we're definitely going to do that. Yes, we are. Anyway, so we've done that. We definitely need some kind of table out here. Uh, and I wouldn't mind having some kind of like eating place, maybe a bar as well. So let me pull out a few goodies. Okay, Desert Lux is coming in very handy, darlings. I'm going to use the Desert Lux barbecue and also the bar. I just think they would sit nicely right together there. Beautiful. This table here from Harry as well. That is in the game. But we need some not out door chairs really something that's going to look kind of plasticky i think but still comfort you know so we might struggle with that let me see let, let, let me have a look let me let me let me have a little look <laughs> we'll use these here we're going to get a pop of color up here because we need to remember that this is finley's uh roof terrace and not milo so a little pop of color up here would be the best would be the best way to go and this is a lovely little spot for it as well because just look you'll be able to see the bridge when you're sitting and eating i mean i'd be vibing oh shit i'd be vibing with that wouldn't you i certainly would be let's have a look see what it looks like at night Ah, oh, that looks adorable oh yes imagine a warm summer's evening up here not at the minute because it's very much winter in my game we're going for christmasy vibes but yeah, we'll fit that there. And then maybe here, like a nice fire pit. Maybe they could all just sit around, tell each other jokes, stories, that kind of business. Maybe she does like fundraisers and stuff as well Um, up here. I'm kind of vibing with that idea. Definitely vibing. Uh, I wouldn't mind some kind of like growing space as well. So while we're in this area, let's bring out some planters. I'm going to put on some planters over on this side. Um, I'm, I mean, it would be a shame if they didn't have any planters up here, considering this is one of the only good outside spaces on this whole lot, really. I know they've all got gardens and stuff, but this one's like right up there, isn't it? You know, right up there. If I did like four lovely planters like that, uh, we're doing an actual um, plant pot there. Definitely need some bar stores here. But I'm thinking fire pit. I am thinking fire pit and we need outdoor activities. Oh, we could use you here, couldn't we? Yes. Yeah, we'll use this one. We'll use this one here. Plop that one there. And I think some like, not boxes, but just some, some what, would you sit around there? I mean, you would, but you're not that great because you all end up looking very much the same with the, with the throw over the top of them. And I just don't want that. I don't want that for here. Maybe even you actually. Or I could maybe these. What colour did we do that? We did red. Maybe I could flop a few of these in. They're very big though, aren't they? They are very chunky. I think that might be a bit too overkill, that one. Yeah, it's a bit overkill, that. So maybe I could go back to the drawing board and use these instead and just go for a lighter wood. That would be cute. And then I can fit more of these in then. Four would be perfect. Five would be a dream. So I reckon we could get five in. Let me just get this situated nicely. There we go. That seems a bit more balanced. I'll pull that right over to that edge there, leaving us enough space to be able to put some bar stools out here as well, which is what I'm going to do, darlings. Yes, I am. Uh, so bar stools. I think we'll go for these ones here from Perfect Patio, just because, again, it gives me that outside vibe rather than being like an indoor bit of furniture. Yeah, I'm vibing with that. I am absolutely vibing with that. I'm not going to put any plants in here because, it, as I said, it's winter in my game at the minute and it just wouldn't make sense. But I am kind of thriving with this little this little rooftop terrace. I think they're going to enjoy it. I do. Definitely need some decorations out here, though. As I said, I do want a plant. I would love a cheeky plant here. So something substantial, um, but with a little pop of colour. We'll go for this one here from the Blooming Rooms kit pack. I just love all the mossy details on that. And I like that swatch with all of the other kind of like wooden looking furniture. Yes, vibing. Absolutely thriving. I think oh, that would be the perfect little roof terrace. Don't really need anything else up here. I was thinking like fridge and stuff, but it's already got one on the barbecue. So that kind of makes sense there. Um, 
but everything else it seems a-okay i think what we might need though is a hose pipe just so it looks like there is some kind of plumbing up into this area and i might even bring out like a little electrical box just so it looks like you can get power up here as well uh and i'm definitely going to need to put on some like aircon units on here and also a chimney but i don't know where to put the chimney just yet uh because i don't know where i'm going to be putting chimneys downstairs so maybe we'll leave that until we're actually there but we have got a hose pipe so i'm going to flop the hose pipe in just pop you to there my darling absolutely beautiful now i need to find that little like electrical box and there we go from eco lifestyle i've just plopped it over there and i sized it down slightly as well can, it looks a bit small can i have it at the normal size i think i could actually i do think we could do that i'm gonna flop you to about there yes and that just makes me feel a bit better a bit more realistic and i'm thriving oh that's cute yeah we do like that i'm into it i don't know about you but i am so what else did we say? We were going to do a chimney blast, but we didn't know where to put them just yet, did we? No. So, I think I'm going to use one of these vents for an aircon unit. Did I size this down? No. I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to flop you into that, maybe over on this side, actually. Because I think the chimney's going to be more along the lines on over this side. So, let me have a look what we got downstairs. We've got a toilet and stuff down there. So, it's, we're not, we won't put a fireplace in these bedrooms but this is going to be the living room and kitchen isn't it it's going to be open plan so it kind of needs to be maybe around about there i think that would be the best kind of spot for it let's have a look what we've got downstairs um if i remember rightly that's the living room as well it is so yeah so yeah right at the front of the build around about here and i think what i'll do is do what we did over there with the half walls um is that the right height let me see yeah like that kind of size i'm gonna do it probably i don't want i oh know i could do it around about there couldn't i we'll do it around about there we're gonna use the same wallpapers as what oh what we've got going on here though so i'll flop that around there same there and all in the middle my loves uh, all of it please thank you yeah yeah, I've done two there. I've done a two wide one though. That's fine. That's fine. We can use, we can do a two wide one. Why not? You know, in for a penny, in for an absolute pounding, darlings. And then I'm going to use that swatch. I'm going to whiffle you to there. I'm going to bring you up to around about there, gorgeous, and the same here as well. And a little one, two, three, like that, darlings. Ah, oh, oh, that was too low. And again, again. Um, and I can see that underneath of there, so it's making me fuming, so I will get rid of it. There we are. Perfect. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I do think we need some kind of lighting uh, on these parts, but I don't want it to look too modern. Maybe if I do like a small little uh, wall light here, uh, and I'll find a door as well. So let me go and find some bits. And that's what I've used. Used the base game one. Didn't want like a full glass door here. Just in case some creepy person could come up and look in and get in. So I put up little kind of windows at the top. I tried a few doors. That was my favourite. And I've used these base game lights um, on each of the levels as well. You can't see it because the camera is an asshole. Um, but I've put it on that level there as well. I just think that would work rather gorgeously. Yes, it would. Yes, it would indeed. Uh, somebody said to take away these pillars, but I kind of like the way, the way they look. It doesn't need to be realistic, really. Um, I like the way that it looks with the build, so I'm going to stick with it. Yes, I am indeed. So what we need to do now is I would like another drain pipe, like we've got going down the build. I would like it to come down into this level as well. So I'm going to do one here. Let's bring you down. Another one. Is that in the right position? Maybe there, my love. Yes, and then the same here, gorgeous. Uh, and I'm going to need to do a little overlap with these ones, which is fine. Beautiful. Nice little drain pipe going all the way down to the basement level where I will put in a cheeky little storm drain. Uh, if I can find one, I used it around here, didn't I? Gorgeous, yes. And then we're going to come down and we're going to finish off by doing lovely Milo's garden area. So... Milo's not really a party animal. I don't see him having lots of places for people to come and, you know, party, socialise, that kind of vibe. 
I wouldn't mind this, even though it's a lot of grain, a lot of concrete, um, or a lot of brick even. I wouldn't mind it being kind of like a green haven, somewhere where he can just come and escape his like job and just be out in a bit of greenery. Um, maybe with like some sun lounges, I could see that kind of good vibe with him. You know, that kind of, just a nice little haven. So I'm going to pull out an array of things that's just going to greenery up this, this area. Uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, chickens. Why don't we give Milo some chickens? <laughs> I think that could be kind of cute. Oh, I do like that idea, especially having an animal on the lot as well, because there isn't going to be one, sadly. I'm very sad to announce this, but Lorena's and Dorothy's cat did pass away. He did pass away. And the reason that he passed away is because that because I realized that this household is full and won't accept a cat. So they are heartbroken, but they are just getting on with their life at the minute, darlings. And I will not be taking any questions at this time. Thank you. Um <laughs> So yes, that, that's what's happened. That's what's happened. Poor, poor. I even forgot what their name was. I'm so sorry, cat. I'm really, really sorry. But um, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. You're not fitting in with my storyline, loves, and you're ruining everything. So it's time for you to leave. <laughs> I'm not laughing because the cat's just died. I'm not that sick, I promise. Uh, let me see what the hedge is going to look like in here. Yep, I like that. Just a nice little wall of greenery. I might even just, I think I'll just bring it to around about here and I'll just brick up the rest of that because I do want this um, chicken, what do you call it? A coop, a coop. I do want the coop to have its own little moment. So lovely, let's get this done then. So we're going to flop you into there, my love. We're going to whiffle you around to this side as well, my darling. Um, You are just slightly hanging over. These might be poking out the edge here, but that does not matter because we cannot see it. And that is the mantra, my loves. Yes, it is. I'm going to flop you up to there because you're just a little bit out. Gorgeous. Now I'm thinking quite a few planters here. I reckon he likes to come out, spend time with his chickens that we are going to name together. Um. And yeah, you know. That is the storyline. Did bring out a fire pit. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it just yet. I do want to maneuver everything into place first. So I'm going to bring out this little picnic table here. Just in case he has anybody over. Um, wink to the wink wonk. Uh, definite little barbecue area as well. I'm kind of feeling that vibe. And I just want to splash a bit more greenery over in this area here. Do I want to use you? I do really like you. Yes, we're going to flop you to there, but I think I'm going to change up the color of this. Now, M Milo's apartment is going to be very kind of classy Scandinavian hipster vibes. He's a bit of a hipster. He collects vinyl records. He loves his old music. So I definitely want to go, go down. That's a bit more Milo's personality. So I definitely want to go down a bit more of the Scandi vibe in the actual interior of Milo's apartment. So it's going to be a lot more cleaner and a lot more modern. Um than what, uh, I was just about to bloody say Francis then, than what Finley's apartment is. But I think I could vibe with that quite nicely. Yeah, that'd be cute. Then there's like a little pathway down here. So what do we want? A fire pit or a, oh, I think, no, I'm going to get rid of the fire pit. And I think we're going to stick with um, the, te excuse me, the telescope instead. We're going to stick with the telescope instead. Put it in that kind of orient here. <laughs> And I would like to use you, but I'm worried that you are not going to be able to squeeze in anywhere. Can I move you across a couple more? I can. Beautiful. Put that little plant in on that side there. Oh, yeah. I like the vibe, of, the feel of it in here. I do. I do indeed. I'm going to pop you to about there, though, my love. Gorgeous. Little growing area. Little telescope right in the middle. Might move you along a little bit more. Just like that. Let me see the vibes that we got going up. I did bring out that ivy as well. I didn't mention that, but I'm sure you saw it. That is from um, the debug live edit. And it just swamps up a bit of greenery in this area. Nice little haven garden. Vibe with that. And I love how low down it is as well, because it just feels private and secluded. Just how Milo likes it. Now we need, do need some lighting out here. We definitely need some lighting. And I'm thinking... 
I don't know if I could use like lampposts, but it's that kind of vibe. Can I use some lampposts? I'm going to need to get rid of debug and live edit because we'll be spoiled for choice, my loves. But some kind of tall lamppost without it looking like a street lamppost, you know? Maybe the one from Outdoor Retreat. This one. This could work. I might even go for that colour that we had. Is anybody having problems with picking swatches lately? Like, I'll press on a swatch and it won't click it straight away. It's very annoying. It's been doing it for the past week or so for me. Uh, I'd be interested to know if anybody else is having that problem. Oh, that's kind of cute. So it looks like the ivy's growing up it. What kind of light do we get off of this, though? Oh, quite a substantial amount. Do you know what? I'm going to do two of these. I'm going to do one and two. Like, maybe two about there. Let's get the light back on again. Cute. I like that. And then I think I'll do just a nice normal light at the top here. In fact, I'm going to do security light. I'm going to do that security light. Um, Where are you, my love? Here you are. Gorgeous. I'm going to flop you up just to about in the middle. Around about there. And then that should flood that area there with a little bit more light. Nice. But I would, wouldn't mind some candles out here as well. Just a little tray of candles, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, I know which one. This one here. Oh, even. Oh, no. Actually, we use that lantern. Yeah, this one. In that colour as well. And I'll pop you up on the table there. Just again. So it just gives it a bit more of a glow. Oh, vibing. Absolutely vibing. Uh, and I think the chickens will like this area. They can come and peck around here. I reckon he's going to allow the chickens to go in his art studio. And maybe his bedroom. <laughs> he loves animals that much. But can chickens walk up the stairs? No, that is something I would like to see. That is something I would like to see. I would like to see a chicken walking up the stairs. But I don't know if they can. But that is a good thought, isn't it? To be honest. Quite vibing with that. Yeah. Okay. Cute. Absolutely here for this. Really am. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do any more today. I think we're going to come back next week because I want to drag these out a little bit because I want the I want you guys to see their story develop. I know you've seen a little snippet of what happened today. Um, but I want their story to develop a bit more. So I'll be back with this on Tuesday and Wednesday next week. Uh, and we're going to start we're going to start on Milo's apartment first. So as I said, a bit more of a Scandinavian vibe. Um, and it's just going to be a more, bit more cleaner and modern than what Finley's is going to be. We're going to go maximalist to the max up here. Bright colours everywhere. Yeah, I think that's the way I want to do it. So I'm going to leave you now, my loves. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'm going to be back next. Um, or to, I'm going to be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow with a speed build. I've got a really lovely Christmassy speed build with some lovely custom content um, coming on the channel. It's a really lovely house in the world of Hemford on Bagley. I think you're going to absolutely love it. Festive vibes all around. And then next week I'm going to do another speed build. But I'm just going to do it without custom content. And we're going to build another Christmassy build then. I'm also live on Twitch tonight. If you want to come and see, we are building a Christmassy village square in The Sims 4. 7pm GMT. But if not, I'll see all you gorgeous buggers tomorrow. Goodbye.